Do you know the typical smell of burnt electronics? Hi, I'm John for Proper Printing and there are roughly three ways to perform a project. The first is to think everything completely through, to know from the start what you're going to do along the way and finish it off properly. Second way is to just start and see how it goes. And the third way is to just fail. And right now I'm in uh, between the last two. For this video, I'm going to finish this enclosure and the idea is to make an infinity cube. If you haven't heard of the infinity cube, there are infinity tables with on one side a mirror and the other side one way mirror and it will um, replicate the LEDs in between into infinity. And you have an infinity cube which is basically the same thing but within all directions. And I think it would be pretty awesome to make an infinity cube out of a 3D printer enclosure. Yeah, in my head it would be like this, what is being printed would be replicated into nothingness in all directions. So it will be one large space of LEDs and <laughs> the part that you are printing. And it has some functional benefits as well because wherever you're standing, you can see in all directions of the print you can see the front and you can see the back as you've seen in the intro i have already finished the electronics but i have destroyed one of the fans the problem with those fans is that they have rgb leds in them and they are running at 5 volt and my led controller is running at 12 volt and i knew that so i came up with a solution that i thought might just work this led controller has the uh, the positive 12 volts uh, on the LED and it switches to ground. I thought if I use this 5 volt power supply on that anode uh, side of those uh, LEDs and let this thing switch to ground, then that 5 volt would run through those LEDs, through this controller to ground and uh, everything should work fine. Well, the problem is I didn't get that controller to work with the app and so I got a bit impatient and I just connected the 5 volt directly to the to that fan so I would at least see that uh, LED lighting up. Well it lit up pretty short and then that famous smell came from there. So I've ordered some new fans, did some cable management, put this printer back up and cut all these profiles to length so I made some satisfying footage. <laughs> That's basically where I'm at. I wanted to make the rest of this enclosure, but I also have to make the other side of this custom connector. And I think it's better to finish this connector first and then build the whole enclosure around it together with those LEDs. I finished the electronics and I've made this drawing for the LEDs. I'm going to need an extra controller because I want to distribute the power a bit. And I have made a separation between LEDs shining in your face when you're standing here at the front and LEDs not shining in your face. So I can turn off one uh, group of LEDs. I think I found the best way 
to group them. First I'm going to make those panels with this one way foil, build the whole enclosure and then from the inside I'm going to add all the LED strips. I still have to replace those fans but I've designed this enclosure in such a way that when I disassemble this inner box then this whole printer together with this inner box should be able to slide to the front so I can reach to those fans and replace them. Even when this whole enclosure is on there, I should be able to slide this printer to the front and reach all the electronics. So right now I can start working on putting the rest on there. First I'm going to add a file to those panels, add the panels and the profiles to here, and then I can add the LEDs. And then we should have an infinity cube. Okay, I finished all these panels, but I realized that I first have to add the LEDs here behind this branding before I'm going to add the rest of this enclosure because I have to remove this whole profile in order to get there. Shadows stretching on the floor while the sun gets low. I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow. We push it right on through. I know you need it too. Because we have been working hard right from the very start mm, And we get this far But now it's time for us to stay until it's late We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it, mate Call it a day and celebrate Let's celebrate The moment of truth After so much work I'm going to turn off the lights Turn this thing on, and hopefully it doesn't catch fire. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> oh, s***! What the f***? Tifus! <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, this was it for this video, I hope, you, I hope you have enjoyed it, the amount of work was insane, my goal was to make a simple enclosure and I think I have failed, but I'm very happy with how this turned out, I still have to do some tweaks, I for some reason cannot pair that controller with this remote. And I was able to pair it with this controller, so I'm going to swap it out. I still have to, to print some parts, some corner pieces to make everything neat. Yeah, and I have to heat this thing up, do some cable management and see if it can print. Hereby I promise you in my next video I'm going to actually print with this machine. I'm going to clean everything up because it's an insane mess around here. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters and thanks to everyone has donated on my website thanks for watching and if you like this video please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed already consider doing so because i'm not finished with this enclosure and there is still a lot more that i want to do on this channel so <laughs> i hope you have a great day and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video bye